everybody thank you so much for joining me this is Liz Wright from Liz at Home and today I'm going to be doing the next of my coloring book stash I find this somewhat humbling because I moan about not having enough money and then I see the number of coloring books and supplies I have and it makes me realize perhaps why I haven't got enough money because I have really gone a bit overboard in the last few years with all of my coloring supplies and I don't even feel like apologizing for it because I absolutely love them. As I go through what I have, there are many books that I haven't colored in. I used to work 24 seven just about. So there were times when I was teaching at two schools. I started at the one school at eight o'clock. I left there at quarter to one. It took me 40 minutes to drive to the next school. I'd have a 20 minute break and I'd teach there until seven in the evening and then I'd drive home and um, so there wasn't a hang of a lot of time in between. I was often also taking part in shows which needed rehearsing at night. And so over the years, I've worked quite hard and now I have time and I'm loving it. So I want to share these books with you and please don't criticize me if I haven't colored in them. I feel quite sensitive and a little bit like putting myself out there. So I've got the pile of the Creative Haven type books. Um, I'll go through them bit by bit. This is Creative Haven Vintage Flower Seed Packets. I really love this. Um, I have a thing about flower seed packets. When I was newly wed, we used to get a flower seed catalogue book from the seed shop. And I just loved all the seed packets and I used to love them. So this really appealed to me. I actually had forgotten that I have it. So I'm definitely going to be colouring in one of these quite soon. I like colouring in flowers. So... Um, and I like that the book shows you the seed packet, so that gives you a bit of an idea, which is great for me. So I look forward to that. Then there's Creative Haven Happy Home, a Higgy coloring book. Um, Higgy means something about comfort or something. I think it says somewhere what Higgy is. Huga is the part that says pronounced Huga. The Danish term hookah basically means coziness and celebrates the thing that brings pleasure and joy. And these illustrations are by Jessica Mazurkiewicz. So I liked them. They looked just nice, sort of easy coloring. Although this, uh, and if one can just go over the whole lot and not follow each line in some more knitting cups and things so that's that then there's the jade summer country farm which it's got double images and i think most of you've seen this i have colored something in here at least i remember joining a body color i think what i did was i actually i probably have this in yeah, I've got this one in PDF as well, and I probably printed out a page and coloured it, but I will soon be colouring. Then a colour therapy book, one of the first books I bought, and not really my style of book. Probably won't colour in this sort of thing I like bringing out when my grandchildren visit, then I don't mind if they go out of the lines. This book I rather like, it's called Inspirations for Recovery. Um, and it's got, um, if you plant honesty, you'll reap trust. I, I, as you know, I quite like those sort of things. And I know I've colored a picture in here because I colored it, where is it? When I got my very first Prismacolors. And I was so thrilled with this image. It was 2016. <laughs> I 
Compassion for others with kindness to ourselves. I like that. Should do more of those. Creative Colouring Birds, Valentina Harper. I don't know if I've coloured in here. Then Sherry Baldy, Blooming Besties, and I've done one before I'd ever bought stuff that sets the soft pastels. I like these besties. I must do some more of those. Then I like this great scenes from Dickens novels. This is a Dover book. I'm just going to have a swig of tea. Excuse me. Um, so it's got the story a bit of. I've coloured in there. Oliver Twist. And I like these sort of old fashioned things. So I'll do more in that. It's a kids colouring book that I quite like. Fanciful Fairies and Dazzling Dragons. I just thought these were quite cute. I love this. I mean, isn't that adorable? Bohemian Fantasy by Molly Harrison. Again, I have this as a PDF and I've done some of the images from the PDF. This is grayscale. Um, feel a bit more confident about grayscale now and I think this would work quite well with um, alcohol markers so I might I might do I'm very pleased with my alcohol markers because you can get more done another sherry baldy at um, sweet treats besties oh, I mean, so cute I do love these images. I think they're just too cute. Look at that. Oh man, that's so cute. Oh, I love it. Selena Fennec, Enchanted. Again, I have um, many of her things in. Um, I like the way this feels. It's sort of a matte cover. It feels cool. I have, in PDF, I have many of her things. I love these books. In Creative Haven, Winter Scenes. This is a fairly new book for me and I think it needs to come out now with um, winter coming along. I love this image. Here's the artist, that's Marty Noble. Juliana Emerson, Lovely Angels. Oopsie. I did this one um, with the wet media so the paper's a bit crinkly and then I ironed it. Did it with wet. Um, it actually feels like I've gone over it with that watercolour ground and as you can see it's kind of shiny. Then there's Nature Mandalas by Marty Noble as well. I like these. I think I've done one in here. I can remember joining a buddy colour for this or buying it to join a buddy colour. Oh, yes, I did do one. I like mandalas. And Nordic Designs is quite a thick book. Um, Jessica Mazurkiewicz. Mazurkiewicz is probably how you pronounce it. Um, I have some Norwegian heritage. Down that one. I quite like these, these kind of designs that are a bit open. I don't like things that are to like this sort of thing. I'm not sure if I would colour it, but I thought I'd done another one in here. Must be in a different book. But these kind of things, um, my grandparents used to have them up on their walls. They're very, very Norwegian. Naturescapes, I've had this forever and I don't think I've ever coloured in it and I really must. I mean, they're lovely images. 
oh, I'm starting to feel stressed when I see what I have and I haven't coloured. Creative Cats, um, Marjorie Sarnet. Did that one. Always pleased when there's at least one that's been coloured in. <laughs> Colour Me Beautiful, Women of the World, Jason Hamilton. I have this in PDF as well and I've coloured some in PDF and I did this one in the book. I must do more of these. I like them. They're beautiful images. He draws wonderfully. And then I love this by Ikuko, Japanese Girls. Such a lovely image. Wow. I haven't coloured in here again. I think I bought a PDF book and coloured something. Oh, that's so pretty. It's double two of each image. If you want a page through of anything, please let me know. Next pile, another Sherry Baldy. Um, fairy time. Always love me some fairies. <laughs> I think I bought the three Sherry Baldies at the same time. And then I bought another one by Ikuko called Sur Surreal Fantasy. Are they Fabulous images. So some of them are a bit dark. Uh, they've done, some are backed by black, the first half, and some are white. Absolutely stunning images. Then another kids one that I really liked. Pretty Princess by Teresa Goodridge. So cute. I love this little one at the piano. So cute. Have to colour in them. Creative Kittens, Marjorie Sarnat. I'm sure you've all seen it. I've done one there. Another fairies one, Darcy May. I went through a stage where I bought so many fairy books because I just, I don't know, I love fairy things. Oh, really must colour these. These really appeal to me. And Molly, ha Molly Harrison's pictures as well. Um, Enchanted Fairies. This is by Barbara Lanza. Very beautiful images. Then a colour by number, Sea Life, paint by number. Um, I should actually try some of these with watercolour and see how it goes. Might be fun. Country Charm. Nothing done in them. Whimsical World, Molly Harrison. I just think again, these are the most adorable images. I think I should take this book with me on holiday. Then Country Scenes by Dot Barlow. Sort of thing I. I, I'd like to do a watercolour image, just leave out the boat and have some water and draw that and paint it. Oh, I've done one in there. Whew. I quite like the sky. Relief that I've done something. Anne of Green Gables. Don't you, did anybody watch Anne with an E? Love it. 
Then I watched The Old Anne of Green Gables before that, my daughter and I. And so then I bought the book and I did this as well with watercolour ground and then watercolour. It makes the paper sort of plasticky. And as you can see, like in certain areas, it didn't seal the paper properly. So the paint then soaks in, so not totally successful. But it's got the story and then pictures to colour, which is quite nice. I really like that. I think it's a good book. Backyard Nature by Dot Barlow. Um, can't remember if I've coloured one in here. I know I kept it out intending to. And I hope I did. I can vaguely remember doing it for things I coloured. No, I haven't. Oh dear, I thought I had coloured one of them. Then a book that you may not know by J.B. Johnson, The Whimsical Garden Gnomes. I got this from Australia. Um, there used to be a colouring magazine called, oh, I can't remember what it was called. And um, I got it from Chromatomes. Um, I got it from them. But they're quite cute images, if, you, if anybody wants a page through or anything. <laughs> That's really cute. I'll happily do. This is a beautiful book. Vintage Fairies Colouring Book. Um, I think I've done a page through of this somewhere. It's lovely because it's got a coloured image and then the line art next to it really like this for me a fairly new book and old-fashioned sort of images and then another one of the storybook type things um, Charles Santori's Aesop's Fables so Charles Santori's images are just stunning and um, then they're there to color quite heavy grayscale um, the way the images are. So this is also a fairly new book. If you're interested, I'll do a page through for you. Let me know. Then another one from the chromatomes type of people called Absurd, just colouring book, Hijinks Holidays. Um, and I don't know why I bought it because it's not my style at all. Maybe I should do a Halloween picture in there just to have coloured something. Not my style of book. Spring Scenes, Creative Haven, by Teresa Goodridge. I like that image. We've got a nice, um, oh, that's an excellent picture for me to colour. We're doing quite a fun thing in my group colouring book, Colour Along where one of the ladies has written a story and given us things tagged that we then need to colour and one is blossoms on a tree. So I'm taking that one out and putting a marker in it for get me colouring that and you can check me when I show what I've coloured at the end of the month to see if I've actually done it or not. It is spring here. Then autumn scenes and it's autumn where you are done that one and I've done that one so at least that book's got two ones done and Marjorie Sarnet Beautiful Angels I love Marjorie Sarnet's line drawings I find them a bit difficult to colour then this one by Erin Pocock, Fantasy Designs. I loved, I saw somebody had coloured something in this book and I bought the book. And now when I look at it, um, I find it, a, I don't know why these images, I must just do one. I must stop finding things overwhelming. 
so I must do one. Another Amy Brown Fairies. Another book that I really want to colour the whole book in a Dover one, The Victorian House. And I love Victorian homes. Um, so I really like this because it tells you a bit about them and then you colour, gives you places in the home. And this is one of those books that I actually wanted to colour the whole book. Another Nature Mandalas. Maybe it's this one that I coloured in. Joe Taylor. I don't remember ever colouring in it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I did. Yay, I've coloured in it. I was having a purple day. And then this, another one by Ligia Ortega. Colouring Press, Beverley's Hummingbirds and Flowers. Vintage Grey Scale. So, she's taken vintage images and she's repurposed them for colouring. So I think that's quite cool. A Herb Leonard book, Fay Nouveau. I've got some of his stuff on PDF as well. I like this sort of Art Nouveau style with the frames and things. Another Art Nouveau by Barbara Pellizzoli. Pellizzoli. That's lovely. Another one I decided I must colour in because I really wanted this designer desserts by Eileen Rudisil Miller. And I thought it would be a fun one to, to do. Oh, this is the one I coloured in A Walk in the Woods by Dot Barlow. I knew I'd coloured in one of these books. There we are. Did the owl. Ooh! And it's gone through to the page behind, so those are going to have to be autumn trees, aren't they? And then this I've done a page through of Redoute's flowers. I really like this Charlene Tarbox. Redoute is an artist. Um, and again, they show you his paintings. And then you have an opportunity to colour them. So I think that's really cool. And then I love the Nutcracker Sweet Ballet. So this is a creative haven. Fairly new purchase for me. Not a new book. But fairly new for me. Also fairly new for me. Um, Dot Barlow's Beautiful Birds. I know I was going to join a buddy colour in this. And then I don't think... The book came in time for me to do it, so I never did it, but I shall do that soon. And then I bought myself a book, How to Draw Birds, which of course I haven't done, but you never know, maybe I'll become brilliant. Romantic Country Scenes, newish book for me, I've got it in the last few months. Also a newish book for me that I really like, Do What You Love and coloured a lot in this one and I think you've seen it a few times just easy-ish things and then another newish one a new one for me it was um, a gift and a happy mail and I think they're very cute I've coloured two in here I don't know why I coloured in the back of the book instead of the front of the book. Another newish one for me, the beach colouring book that I've coloured quite a lot in. So relieved at things that I've coloured a lot in them. Another newish one for me that I've coloured a lot, quite a lot for me. Coloured there and then hers. Then Teacup Kittens, also one that I've coloured quite a lot in. Quite a few. There we are. And then African Glamour that I've coloured quite a bit in.
So, that's quite a pile of books for you to have looked at. Let me open this to a beautiful page while I say goodbye so you can admire something lovely. And I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you like these stash videos. I'm coming near the end of my stash. I've still got my Chinese and Johanna Basford and the hardcover books to show you. And I must admit, my piles have got a bit muddled up now. So if I'm showing you things that you've already seen, I do apologize. But I'll, I'll link a few of these books. Probably most of you have seen most of them. So I'll link a few of them. And if there's anything you'd like a link to, please ask me. And um, if you'd like a page through of something, please ask me. I love to do what you ask me to do. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great and colourful week. Bye-bye now.